customer already. So you guys know that I've started screen sharing. So if you will ever unmute yourself, please be mindful um, of what you guys say because your name will be caught on the screencast. All right. Okay, nice. I think, I mean, I'm not saying it's nice that you feel tired or, you know, but what, what I'm trying to say is there is value in knowing that we are not alone, you know, when it comes to our feelings. It's good to know that, oh, yeah, I'm not the only one tired. I'm not the only one, you know, who's feeling this way. Okay, bored with Zoom already? All right. If I may share, like every day, my third grade would always say, I don't want to Zoom, but I have to. I don't want to Zoom, but I have to. Okay. So I, I understand your feeling, honey. Okay. Good. All right. Some said good, happy, neutral, calm. Um, I feel okay. Nothing too special. Oh, okay. Hang on, silly. Give me one sec. Um, Angelina said it was easier if you join through that. So click on join.nearpod.com and you enter the code. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. My, did you see my four-year-old? She came to my work area and she just stole my phone. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, I'll let you know because I'm working. All right. <laughs> Chill. All right, Bonnie. Um, calm. All right, next. And, Silly, if you're just catching up right now, you can um, enter your answers as well. Give me sleepy, Evelyn. Oh my God, I woke up at 8.30 today and Zoom starts at 9. Can you believe that? My husband was so mad at me. Are you going to do your class? Oh my gosh, I was watching Korean novella last night, that's why. Okay, here we go. Anticipation. How do you plan to spend your four-day weekend? I'm just actually trying to steal your ideas because I have no plans yet. <laughs> All right, how do you plan to spend your four-day weekend? I'm going to sleep. That's one thing in mind. <laughs> okay. Keep those responses coming. Sleep, video games. Oh, you and my husband will be classmates right there, Cesar. Surfing. Oh, my God, Bonnie. I don't even know how to swim. Okay. Go to the beach or eat. Okay, cool. What? Anime and K-drama? Oh, my God, my classmates, Latanya. I'm watching, um, what do you call this? The Inheritors. All right, uh, hang out with my best friend. One day where I just stay home and relax. Cool, huh? With no Zoom, Angelina, right? Um, no plans yet. Yeah, me too, no plans yet. Um, games with my friends, sleeping in, babysit. Cool, do you get paid, Anna? That's a lot of money, uh huh. Anything that like play video games. Oh, what happened to your leg, Javier? Is everything okay? Watch the playoffs. I did not even think about that. Okay. Watch Watching the boy S2 anime Star Trek. Cool. Bakersfield. Oh, now it reminds me. I think I have to go to Victorville as well. You pre-ordered? Lucky you. I'm trying to save my money. Uh, catching up on assignments. Oh, now that Alexa mentioned that. You know that the grades are opening today. The grading window will open today. So I strongly suggest like um, after your last Zoom today or maybe during lunch, if you're not busy helping at home with chores and stuff like that, take time to like look at Schoology and catch up on your missing work. Because believe me, every teacher will take advantage of this weekend to do their grades. So it's always nice to start, you know, with a good grade, right? Um, so I'm pretty sure your teachers will be generous enough to not give you, you know, penalty points for turning in your late work, especially when during the first few weeks, there's a lot of technology glitches. But it's always good to be, you know, um, yep, uh-huh. It's always good to start with a passing grade. 
Okay. And believe me, like no teacher would like to fail anybody. Okay. Because failing students would also mean just more work for them. You get what I mean? Okay. So like no filter here. Like I'm telling you, you know, um, uh, the truth. Okay. Watch movie probably. All right. Cool. Do some homework. Awesome. So at least you guys have um, some of you are having fun. Some of you um, are planning to do catch up on your Vegas with friends, Shalia. All right. Okay. Nice. Last summer, we went to Yellowstone. We just passed by Las Vegas. It was kind of, you know, um, empty. All right. Okay, so going back one more slide, one more time. So thank you for sharing your feelings today. If you, bra, this is also how I feel, bra. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Thank you all for sharing those. Okay, so one takeaway from here is number one, we are not alone in this boat, right? Okay, it's good to hear from our classmates who somehow validate our feelings that, you know, it's not wrong to feel this way. This is our new normal and it's okay to kind of feel tired, cranky, um, sleepy. Um, the, the good thing about it is just like what my daughter said, I don't want to Zoom, but I, but I know I have to. So we just have to kind of do what we have to do. And hopefully we'll be back to school sooner, right, than later. And I'm, I'm happy that you guys have some plans for your weekends already. Okay. I'm um, trying to steal some of, uh, some of your ideas as well. All right. So I'm going to close this one and go back to it later. So now let's go back to Schoology. So what do we have today? Well, first, um, we are going to have a practice on solving equations. And then... Shortly after the practice, you will take a, a similar quiz in Schoology. So be ready with your papers now, guys, because your quiz is very much similar to what we're going to practice on. All right. And I'm not, I'm not going to give you like a lot of homework over the weekend because I know that you will do catch up with your, with your missing work. Okay. So first thing I published, it's the 1.2 multi-step equations check for understanding my period one found it very similar to the quiz they said it helped a lot so that's what we're going to do now open that one we had a little bit of problem with this earlier because they said they couldn't open it with cami but we found another way to do it okay so option number one if you can open your assignment with cami do it if you can't, if after the first try, it, it shows an error message, just like what it did to me earlier, you can click on view and get a piece of paper. So whichever, you know, I will, whichever method you pick, I will be able to check your answer. Okay, I'm going to try the Kami just once. And if it doesn't work, oh well, I'll try another way. I don't see Cami. Same. Okay. Oh, so that means um, you have to like download Cami extension in your Chrome, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay. All right. That's fine. You don't see Cami. We're good. Then let's do it the other way. Let's click on view instead. There you go. And hopefully later before you go, um, I can help you download Cami. But don't download now because it will take away some, you know, bandwidth from your internet. Yeah, but pretty much it's like you're downloading any app on your phone. So you just, you just download Cami on your Chrome extension. Okay. All right. So if you don't have Cami, view it instead. There you go and get a piece of paper and something to write with. Get a piece of paper and something to write with. With Kami or not, you will be able to um, enter your answers later on in Schoology, so don't worry about it. 
I can't. So which reminds me I have to copy that from period one because I haven't done that. Okay, so while I'm fixing something from my end, go ahead and start working this out on a piece of paper. And I will also be asking you to share in maybe like three minutes. I just have to copy something from one course to another. Copy to course. Three, three. Three, three. And copy. All right, so how are we going to share your work um, later on? I will be asking for volunteers. And as you volunteer, I will make you a co-host. So you can, you know, either share your screen if Cami works for you. But if not, you could just show your paper like to the camera or you could just say how you did it and I will write for you on my screen whichever you prefer but I would love to hear from you today okay so can I give you about seven minutes head start so go ahead and pick one that you want to work on right now if something doesn't seem easy or you're not confident in doing it you can skip that for now, and we will be able to help you on that one later on. Okay, so can I give you about until 1040-ish to pick and solve what you want? All right, I'll go on mute mode first. Oh, you can't get there. Kyle, were you able to open it though, like from the view portion? Yeah. If you just joined us right now, please type your name in the chat box. And your classmates are viewing 1.2 multi-step equations, check for understanding. They're trying to solve the items that they want to solve until about 1040-ish. Sure, honey. Right here. And I can also make it smaller a little bit. Yep. 
if that's the best way for you, that's fine. Okay, is this okay? There you go. Hi, George. It didn't work for a lot of us either. Um, I will show you later how to download it to your Chrome. So next time you need it, you can use it. Okay. Oh, you have it downloaded already. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you need to refresh your browser, so, but don't do it right now because, you know, it might be taking some bandwidth from your computer. When she finished, can I see the first one? Sure, honey. I can go maybe like this a little bit. Is that fine? All right. That's okay, silly. Yep, do as many. Okay, and then the ones that you find difficult, we'll work on that together, honey. Yep. I just want you to, like, try some first so I don't, you know, spoon feed you, like, everything. Because I know you guys know um, some of them. Looking for Javier Torres. Javier, if you're here right now, can you type your name in the chat? Yes, you are. Okay, got it. Okay. Victor Garcia. I know you are here. Can you type your name in the chat, please? Or say something? And Hannah Baltazar. Hannah Baltazar. Victor Garcia, can you please type your name in the chat, honey? Thank you. And Hannah Baltazar. Hannah Baltazar. I'm done, but I'm not sure how to do number six. No worries, honey. We'll go over that together. Mm -hmm. Cherish Aquino Rogers. Cherish Aquino Rogers. Please type your name in the chat. Okay. So if you mention, if I mention your name, I don't know like how you were able to log into Zoom, but. Like, in my Schoology, it shows me that your last Schoology access is not today. So I don't know how you were able to do Zoom, but next time, please make sure that you log in to Schoology on an everyday basis because teachers can see, like, the last time you log in. And if you log in, there's no way we can't mark it absent. I know. Mm -hmm. So... You have to log into Schoology no matter what. Otherwise, we might mark the absent. Okay, so it's 1041. That was like one minute over time. Okay, so I saw number six earlier was mentioned. Okay, and then 
five and six actually five and six all right cool so i'm gonna go straight to those and then go back to the other questions in a little bit all right so five and six okay i can understand where the confusion is coming from you probably are asking yourself dang it what am i going to do first add the five or multiply the four right right okay so here's a trick so you don't find yourself thinking anymore whether or not, you know, whether or not um, you're going to multiply or subtract first. Uh, I log in every day before 9 and they are still marking me absent. Oh, if I, if I didn't mention your name, honey, that means I saw that you logged in. Um, so please verify with your teachers. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, so for number 5, we know that 4 okay is underneath f right so that means it's closer to f than the negative five right so in other words we have to move the five first over because four is directly connected to f so if we move the five then it's going to be plus five right and then you'll you'll be left with f over four is equal to negative nine plus five is negative four and then since four was divided you're going to do the opposite. You're going to multiply this guy over there. So times 4, right? So f will be equal to negative 16. All right. But then I mentioned earlier that there's another way to do it without double, um, without double, you know, or thinking twice whether to add, subtract, or multiply. Here's the trick. If, if one of the given information has a fraction, which is over 4, then you multiply everything by 4. So that will cancel the 4 here, right? But you're going to be fair to the rest, honey. So whatever you do to the first, the second one must have it too. So you're going to multiply that by 4. And whatever you do to the left-hand side, yes, Jaden, does that mean something or did you do it by mistake? Okay. If you times the left side by 4, then you also have to times the right-hand side by 4. Okay, yes, honey, I thought like you were so mad at me and you didn't want to like... <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, so that will cancel the force and you will be left with F. Okay? Minus 5 times 4 is 20, right? Equals negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. There you go. Are we getting the same answer as earlier? Oh, yeah, right? So this, you're just going to put it over here, plus 20. And see, we're getting the same answer, negative 16. So that's one trick. So if you're not sure, you do the trick. Okay, let me do number six. Now, same thing here, but it's a different case as in number five because... The 3 is all over all of these, right? So if you're not sure, you can separate them. You can break, it, break them down like this. Q over 3. The plus and the minus will just become minus, right? So I'll just put minus 5 over 3 is equal to 8. And then, just like what you did earlier, you didn't like the fractions. Do you? So if you don't like the fractions, then get rid of them. If they make it complicated, you know, turn them to something easier. So since the bottom number is 3, we multiply each of them by 3. But remember, whatever you do to the left, you're going to do to the right as well. Okay, does that make our life easier? Oh, yeah. Cancel. Done. Cancel. No more, right? So what are we left with? Q minus 5 is equal to 24. Okay, maybe you're wondering, Ms. Arciaga, did you really have to do all that? No, there's another shortcut. From here, you can also like multiply this by 3. But I just didn't want to show you that right away because you might think that you have to distribute. Okay, but in this case, you could just cross them out. And then you multiply the 3 over here. So pretty much something like a cross multiplication. Yeah? 
but I wanted to show you the long way just so you would understand that. Oh, yeah, I don't have to distribute because it's going to cancel anyway. Right? Cool. Going back. So, Q. Dang, how I miss students, you know, when they say, oh, yeah. So, if you have some aha moments right there, come on. Okay, I miss hearing them. So, here we go. We're going to move that 5 over. So, 24 plus 5. Okay, so that's going to be 29. So don't forget the answers you're you're seeing right now because you're going to enter them in Schoology later on. If you don't copy them down, you're going to end up solving them again. Okay? All right. I'm going to clear these in. Now let me get out of my face right here. Let me minimize that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to clear the ink. I hope you've had the time to copy that. All right. Now, did anybody get to the last few numbers? Otherwise, I'll, I'll go back up or I'll start here and work backwards. Okay. Um, let me see. I did. Cool. All right. So, Emily, would you like to help us with any of either 9 or 10? Hi, Silly, 3 or 4. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, honey. Um, Emily, can you choose one that you would like to share? You want to, like, unmute yourself and tell me what to write? I'll write for you, honey. Wait, do we have to do all of them? Yes, Javier. Oh, number nine. Cool, Emily. I'm ready when you are. Combine like terms. Cool. I like that. You're, you're using vocab math vocabulary. Combine like terms. Okay, plus 4 equals 39. Awesome. Then? Subtract 4. Cool. I'm loving this. All right, so 14x will be equal to 35. Divide. Nice. And in Schoology today, um, there is no option to enter a fraction, so I'm going to ask you to change it to decimal. Is that okay? All right, so I don't know what this is in decimal. Do you have a calculator there? I don't have a calculator next to me. I don't have my phone. 2.5! Yay! Emily is so ready. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you, Emily. All right. And um, silly, you said three and four. Okay, can you choose one, honey? Um, let me clear the ink. Okay. So let's go back to three and four. All right. So, um, I can understand where the confusion in number three is coming from. If you have two negatives, they're just making it a little complicated, but you got to simplify it first. So a negative and a negative will become positive. Oh, that looks like a smiley. Okay, so you'll end up with 17 is equal to Z plus 9. Okay, I think you can take it from there, right, silly? You're going to get the Z by itself. All right, and here I'm going to copy Emily's combined like terms first because there you go, because um, they can be simplified. So that's going to be 6, take away D. All right, and I think you can take it from there. So you're just going to move the numbers over. In this case, though, you're going to have like um, a negative on the variable. So 15, then take away 6 equals negative D. So that's a 9, but you can't have it that way. You have to move this here. Uh, yes. I can do number 3. Oh, nice. Okay. So D okay. is equal to so negative 9. So you'll minus the 9. Uh-huh. And then that cross out, and you put the 9 to the 17, you minus the 17 minus 9, and you will get. I will get. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Mm hmm. You have a little one in your house, huh? Yeah. Okay. You will get 8. 8. Good. So that's going to be and Z. Then, oh, and then. You will have. Oh, yeah. And then Z will equal 8. Yeah. I believe. Yep, that's right. And write it in standard form. That's awesome. Okay. And then for number four, oh, you already got them. Yeah, so D equals negative 9. Thank you, honey. Thank you. 
Alrighty. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do now. We are going to enter our answers in Schoology. Here we go. Schoology, Schoology, week three, where are you? You can see I'm happy today, huh? I'm just happy we have a four day weekend. Sorry, one more thing. Um, what was yeah? it before? Negative nine, honey. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right, guys, here we go. You're gonna click on this one. The one that has like a green, they have the same title. So be careful with that. That's the worksheet. And this is where you enter your answers. Okay, let's do it. All right. Okay, so uh, click on that one. Just um, start attempt, something like that. Yeah. And you have two attempts to do this. But he got most of the answers already, right? So, um, and there's a word bank too. So I'm not done with some of them. Oh, yes, honey, keep working. Well, it kind of forces you to work on them because, you know, you have to like enter 10 of them over here. Yeah. And if you're getting something that's not in the word bank or answer bank, then, you know, you got to do that again. All right. Okay. So can I give you about, yeah, seven minutes to do that? And then when you finish that early, you can start doing your quiz. I'm going to publish it right now. You can, sh you can choose to do the quiz now or later when you have more time. It's up to you. But you know this is included in the grade on Sunday. So you got to get it done. Like done, done. Okay. All right. Your time. I don't have all the questions up or read it down. Okay. Sorry, George. I'll show it up here again. Which numbers did you need? Okay. There you go. Just let me know if you need anything. Victor Garcia, if you can hear me and if you could do it on whatever device you're using right now, can you type your name in the chat, honey? Thank you. Um, you can take the quiz, honey. So if you... oh, you're good for the day. Go have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Um. There's, there's only one, honey. Yeah. It's 
Okay. Okay. Oh yes, honey. When you're done, you're good to go. Yep. Okay. Um, three and four when you're done. Are we allowed to leave if we are done with the quiz? Yes, honey. That's all for today. Um, we, our time will be up in three minutes anyway, so you're good. Yep. This is from ten fifteen to eleven. That's forty five minutes. You too. Have fun. Enjoy. No screens. No Chromebooks. No Zoom. <laughs> it's not letting me do the quiz. Um, ooh, I don't know what happened, honey. That's a first for today. Can you refresh your browser, please? Because I just published it right now. So you have to refresh your browser so it will show. Still not letting me. It says no taking submissions. I can look that up right now. Settings. Yeah. I got nine out of ten for my quiz. Nice, nice. Wow. I wonder why it doesn't work for for all okay can you guys try now if it's working okay, okay. please refresh your browser again and hopefully it works this time it's working now it also says that for me oh there you go okay thank you i just had to enable it okay I don't get number eight. 